All right. Hello, everyone. We are live. And a couple of hours, there was a new tweet by Google Analytics. So I'm just going to share my screen and show you. And they've uh, introduced the new Google Analytics. And this is called Google Analytics 4, so GA4. And so this tweet goes to this page here that talks uh, about exactly what's within the new Google Analytics. And uh, the, the one thing that is important to note is just scrolling down here, it's saying that you any new uh, kind of properties that get added uh, or GA accounts or whatever are going to have this uh, new Google Analytics 4 uh, dashboard by default. So if you've already got, uh, if you had previously a GA account and things and properties on Google Analytics, you'll need to add a new one, so you'll get a new tracking code, and then you can add it to your site through Google Tag Manager or however you uh, get that code to uh, kind of trigger on your website. Um, but let's just show you here. So I've set this up and just giving my first impressions, I guess, in terms of how how it looks um, and the different reports that are here and new things that I haven't uh, hadn't realized that were there and. There are a lot of things to, to kind of look at, so I probably won't manage to go through every single one. And obviously, there's not enough data, clearly, to be able to analyze any of this just yet. Um, but there is a pretty good article by Search Engine Land that um, covers, obviously, George is quick to cover all of this stuff. Um, so shout out to George, um, basically talking about the different things that are included. Um, and I guess to, to give people an overview, so, you know, AI-powered insights, tracking users across devices, and providing more granular data controls. So let's just have a look to see what this uh, kind of looks like, this new GA4 um, kind of dashboard here. So right off the bat, I think it does look a lot cleaner than uh, the previous one. I, I like the right off the bat as well, the comparison. So you can add comparisons um, and you can actually, uh, you can build your own comparisons and add conditions and all, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you can build up to five conditions and you can compare whether it's any kind of demographics, uh, any device settings, any acquisitions and uh, session acquisitions. There's a lot of, uh, what I realize as well is everything became much more in depth and that's pretty good to to know obviously the more granular data that you can get the better it is so as we go down this home page you're going to see the i think this will be in should be kind of like in real time so you've got users in the last 30 minutes um top countries and obviously the real time tab will take a look at it in a minute um, and you've got essentially your, your users, event count, conversions, total revenue, and you can easily filter this uh, depending on what date ranges you want it to show. And now you can create custom insights to monitor your most important metrics. I haven't done that yet, um, but let's see what happens if we can write. So anomaly in daily event count, daily users. Um, so you can create different insights um, for them to show up there in that home tab specifically and it's got its own section on that i think but and you can also see where people are visiting from so i think this uh, something like this was obviously in the the previous dashboard um so it's good to be able to see that right off the bat you've got the last seven days uh, set automatically for the pages that were viewed and uh, screen class and you've got top events, top conversions. Where do your uh, new users come from? And as we scroll down, we can see about uh, user retention, uh, conversions here, and users by platform. And obviously, there is no data, but uh, I think it's just interesting to see how uh, this kind of looks. And the real-time overview looks pretty slick, I think, in terms of you know you've got the the kind of world map here. So that will update if you've got users on your site from a particular country or whatever the case may be that will probably be highlighted to you and you've got also by uh, the user source audience page title screen name and event count by event name 
um, as well as stuff about your conversions and users and uh, the, adding the comparisons here again. You can do that, I think, for all of these different things. You can add comparisons in here. Um, so let's look into the report. So there are five uh, kind of main uh, reports that you've got. So users, demographics, behavior, e-commerce, and technology. And looking at the users one here, it's just more granular. There's stuff about user stickiness. So um, percent of 30-day active users who are also one-day active users. So this is really, really granular uh, data that you can get about user retention, um, as well as user activity by cohort, um, splitting it up into different day ranges. You've got uh, like activity over time. And I think it's, you know, whether or not it will be easy to get used to this kind of dashboard compared to the other one, you know, maybe it will be easier. I definitely recommend setting it up, um, especially if you've already had Google Analytics for your website before today. Um, so you can set that up and the instructions uh, that you've got. So in this article, which I'll just share in the comments uh, if people want to check that out really quick. So go there and that will explain, um, you know, in terms of setting it up and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, so far the dashboard looks quite nice. Uh, let's just check the behavior reports. So views, page titles, and obviously, you know, there is no data here, so there's not too much to say. But um, I think it, in terms of the way that it looks, it looks a lot cleaner, I think. Um, there's obviously a lot more emphasis on e-commerce um, tech as well. So, you know, you can you can see all this stuff, I th I'm pretty sure, before in terms of uh, operating systems and devices. Um, but it's just more of a prominence of it here. Um, and this is where you've got your conversions. So you'll probably have to set up new events and conversions because they won't, uh, I don't know if you can move them over from the previous dashboard, but it'll be it'll be interesting to see if you can do that. Maybe you can. Um, so we've got some beta things in the analysis section here, such as uh, user lifetime. So calculating lifetime value, um, which is really important for businesses. There's a bunch of things that you can set up here. Lots of uh, kind of the granular details and, and you know piece of data that you can get into. Um, so that's one of them. You've got cohort analysis as well. And uh, none of this is set up as well, but it's just interesting to see how, basically how granular you can get in terms of your data. So setting all of this up um, and you know, in terms of GA, providing people with as much data as possible. I, f I feel like this kind of dashboard definitely helps them achieve that. So uh, here you can configure your audiences, user properties and debug view. Um, so just have a look at this. So you can set up new audiences and things like that. But I think overall, I mean, you know, I don't expect this video to be a long video at all. I just wanted to kind of look through the, the new kind of dashboard, the way it looks, um, kind of give my thoughts on it. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that this uh, looks better than the, the old one, I guess, um, what you'd prefer. And um, definitely I'd recommend setting this up if you haven't. And the, the link to the kind of article from Google talking about this uh, will be in the comments. I'll also add uh, this search engine land article by uh, written by George, so I'll put that in the comments as well if you want to take a look. Um, but I think I will can kind of stop it there. I mean, this was just the kind of first impressions of the new Google Analytics 4, so let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.